Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My friend Barbara and I are going to sit here and, and give you a little uh, follow-up to go with the meetup we're having in um, Florida in November 2023. I have to say that because one of these days in 2053, someone will be watching this and going, oh, there's a meetup. But anyway, we're in Florida. That's why I'm in shorts. Thank God. And um, here we go with some additional information. So the meetup is going to be November. I don't even know the dates. 3 p.m. Friday, November 24th till 11 a.m. Monday, November 27th. So it's the Friday after Thanksgiving until the next Monday. You know, we could have a Black Friday meetup. <gasps> that's, what we called, that's what we should have called. That's what we should have called it. Next year. We should have called it Black Friday meetup. Next year we'll do that. We'll Darn. do Black Friday slash Friendsgiving slash Yaya's travel. Something. My friend Barbara. You know, we, uh, you, you, we just have to keep trying and then we get the name. Sorry for the confusion, that's okay. folks. So now you know the dates and you know the time to be there. Now that's important and here's why. Don't think you're going to come in early because if you watch the first video, that was explained to you why. And if you don't know why, watch the first video and you'll get it. So we've done that. Now let's do the address because so there's the a big, lot of confusion. Yeah, yeah, the big confusion is um, um, till or what, whatever I, that came up. The, the address for this meetup is 45700 River Forest Boulevard in Deland, Florida, D-E-L-A-N-D, -E Florida. This is at the River Forest Group site in the Ocala National Forest. But it's the site, the group site is in Deland, Florida, 45700 River Forest Boulevard, please. Thank you. See, when I made the group, what happened is, because I don't know what I'm doing half the time, not just on Facebook, but in life a lot, too. Um, when I made the group, and I just, and it, and it came up these options, and one of them was, do you want to go to the River Forest Campground in Ocala National Forest? And I said, yes, please, and it put that address in. And so I'm not going to trust robots anymore. Well, not, uh, that's not true, because my daughter has a Roomba, and I trust that. So there is a large fire pit. Everybody, please, 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 please bring a bundle of wood. That would be really great. Um, and it, it worked out really well for a meetup previously, and it just, it just works up really, really well. There is a covered pavilion with electrical outlets, tables, counters, uh, a counter. Again, and, and some of this is repetitive. So, you know, if you've heard it before, Okay. But go watch the first video, and then we won't have to keep repeating ourselves. That's not true. We will keep repeating ourselves because that's what we do. No generators running, please. You know, it helps uh, the air for everybody. Um, when we have um, vehicles all parked together like that, it's just kind. Be kind to everybody else, and that includes polluting the air with my generator. So there is a place nearby if somebody wants to meet up, you know, come to the meetup and then, you know, corner Lorraine or I, I can tell you exactly just um, almost right across this, the, the dirt road. There's a place where you can just kind of go over and park there and run your generator. Hopefully nobody will be upset. Refunds. Uh, so please, 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 please have your money. Uh, slash reservation into us by November 6th, please. Um, and that means that you can't just do the interested or the going on the Facebook page. You have to actually do the PayPal or Venmo. Once you do the PayPal or Venmo to Lorraine, you are then that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, you don't have to do anything else. Um, so you have to do the, the, we need the, we need the Venmo or PayPal by midnight of a, on 11 six. And 
here's the deal. I've been traveling. We've both been traveling. We came all the way down from Massachusetts. I flew up there. It was cold and then came down here. Now I'm warm. But we just got back yesterday and I'm trying as your money comes in. And I know I've been behind because I've been traveling. Uh, I'm trying now to play catch up with everyone that sent their money and send you a message um, to let you know. I'm not going to send it on Facebook or Messenger or anything like that. What I'm sending is there is a way in Venmo and PayPal for me to message you and let you know I received your money. Thank you. And that's what I'm doing. Now, if you have your PayPal or Venmo account um, to where you can't receive any messages from that, then you won't receive a message. And I've run into a couple of those already, but if you if you haven't received on Venmo or PayPal, go into those and look and see where you sent money. And if there's no message that says yes, received, thank you, something to that thing, and give me, don't go right now because you'd be watching this video, number one. Give me a couple of days um, to, to get back to you on that, not just as soon as you send it. I may not be in the position to like immediately post that. So give me a couple of days. And then if you don't see it, then by all means, go on the messenger chat under um, senior women. I don't know what it is now. The Facebook group is Yaya's meetup. Yaya's travels meetup with my friend Barbara. I'm, my brain's still cloudy. Um, and under events, there's the group, and that opens up a chat. And a lot of you know that you're already been on there. But just send me a little message and ask me, you know, if you don't hear from me within the next week, after you've sent your money, then then send me a message. I'm, I'm trying to keep up with that. Um, and the Venmo and the PayPal info, you don't need to message me and ask me for all this stuff because it's in the first video, and I believe it's also in the description. It's posted in several places, but it's Lorraine 320 for Venmo and Lorraine Dash Oosley for PayPal. And I will try also after this video in the description to write down all the information again. And I think that, um, yeah, that's, I've, she's got a tablet. I've got a little square piece of paper that also says I need to get a haircut. <laughs> Um, so the other thing that I wanted to clarify is that we've had people ask questions about, um, you know, can I bring a tent? Can I come in a car? Can I come in my van? Sure. <laughs> sure. You know, this is an, uh, this is an inclusive meetup, not an exclusive meetup. Um, please, uh, if you're, if you're in a car, uh, a, a minivan, a, 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 a SUV with a tent on top, um, you're in a, a, a camper van, you're in a build out, whatever, whatever, please. Yeah. Feel free. Um, the whole, the whole idea behind this was to, um, just have a safe place right after Thanksgiving. Um, and for ladies to be able to meet and, and, uh, share the share the holiday spirit kind of and and uh just enjoy um and and maybe get like like women together and and uh that's how we met that's how i make connections make yeah, connections make connections that's a good way of and there's some you. of us um might need a place just to vent because a lot of people this time of year are going to be spending um, Thanksgiving around a table with, you know, with, with other people. So I, I've got you. I'm like I said in my other video, I'm, I'm not going to be your mama, but um, I'll be your big sister. If you just need to tell me that what your brother-in-law said or whatever, um, you know, because sometimes we just need to that companionship and that community of, of women. So we feel safe venting, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So, so we'll have that. And that's where the fire pit comes in because if we're sitting around a fire, you know, all sorts of stuff's going to get said. And, and I think that's wonderful. But we just, uh, but when you talk about what you can bring, you know, if you have a class A or a big super C or something like that, I think you may have a little bit of trouble getting it in there. Yeah. But, you know, if it's just a little class C or, you know, small class C, I think it'll be fine because we're going to be parked close enough to, I mean, 
it's like we're going to be parked close enough together that we're going to be able to um, have community. But not so close that if you pass gas, everyone knows what you had for dinner. I'm just saying, I'm from the South. That's We're not going to be that close. We might be. You never know. So when you get there, and once Barbara and I get inside and open the gates, and you're allowed to come in, we will let you know, come on in, guys, you know, and you guys come in and, and park. Just find a place to park, keeping in mind that there's a lot of people. So, you know, don't park long ways and take up, you know, an area that four other vans can get in. Just be be conscientious of, of, of your, your, your fellow sisters that are coming. As far as what's going to happen once we all get there, um, please, 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 if, if you have something that you want to do or you would like to, to spearhead or whatever, um, please, just on the, on the chat there, mm -hmm. uh, uh, please just say, hey, Barbara, and please put Barbara in there. She's um, all about that. <laughs> Because just say, hey, Barbara, um, I, you know, I, I do this craft and I'd love to, if any ladies would like to learn how to do this or, hey, Barbara, you know, I've looked over the, the area and, and I want to go on a hike and I see there's a 2.7 mile hike or whatever. Um, or if somebody wants to go to the Stetson school, which, which was pretty cool. We, we did go. Uh, Lulu and I went went over to the Stetson School and just walked around the um, the Stetson School grounds when we were there last time. It's a it's a cute little town. Um, yeah. So and anything if you, if you want if somebody says hey let's let's sit around and and have a conversation about um, how we deal with loneliness on the road or how we do meals on the road or whatever 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 topic that you want and you think jeez i'd like to do that or or um like i said before if, if there's something that you'd just like to that you'd like to learn and hey does anybody know how to do this or um i mean i had i saw ladies uh at one of the meetups they they were sitting around a a, a picnic table and they were having their own bible study and i i thought that was really special um whatever you know yeah just uh just let us know and let me know um and barbara's going to be your activity director wait a minute no no <laughs> wait a minute and i just decided this without even talking to her about it in my brain i'm like i know barbara can be the activity director and be aware that i might give you a title too that you might i might have you doing something because here's the deal we're all older women and um not one of us should be responsible for everything so it's like so everyone brings wood everyone take care of your own wood you know make sure it gets to where it's going you know i would hate hate to walk out of my van or walk back from the bathroom to my van and there's 52 bundles of wood at my van because of what you said to bring a thing of wood and and i just i just think that everyone needs to understand i've been to, and here's why i'm saying that i i went to a meetup that wasn't a bunch of um mature women and oh my goodness it was um it was different and i felt like i was after a while i was everyone's mama to the point that i stuck out of there and that's why i have that that's why i keep saying things like be grown and don't be stupid because i was in a meetup where everyone wasn't grown and there were some stupid people there so that's why i say that but that being off my chest, I think we're going to have a good time. What do you think, Barbara? Yes, please, please. We um, just make it your make up your meetup. You know, we're really looking forward to seeing you and having everybody come and just having a really great three nights and just uh, you know communicating and and uh, meeting other other women. So great. Because, you know, by next year, we might be sitting here with seven or eight other people that we've met at this meetup talking about how we're going to have another meetup. And speaking of that, I just had a thought come in. I have thoughts in my mind all the time, so just be prepared. Um, if you have a YouTube channel, and um, be feel free to promote this on your YouTube channel because there's a there's a limit. We, can, we can't take over 100 vehicles. 
and I'll let you know when we get to that limit. Um, so, but if you have a if you have a way of promoting this, feel free. It's not going to hurt our feelings at all because the more we can get out there, just make sure if you're do promoting it is for senior women only. That means you can't bring your boyfriend or your husband or your your godmother's aunt's son-in-law. No, no senior women. That's it. And and you know. To, there it's been some people who said well what do you mean senior women do i have to be 62 i you know what for me i i feel senior women you know if you're a senior woman i mean if you're if you're in your 50s and you're out here doing it alone if you're 49 and you're out here doing it alone or whatever you, i i don't I, well, yeah, I, we're not you're... that we're not that structured you know it's it's i think sometimes it, it comes across but we're not and, and and we don't have to be that that regimented we're not nobody's going to be saying oh can i have your license so i can see how old you check, are check your nope, idea to see if you're nope. but then if you think about it i do have a lot of friends that i don't that, that are younger and they wouldn't want to come anyway right and so right, there's right. the deal that's you the whole thing right, if, right if you're of the age we're like oh that doesn't sound like any fun to be around a bunch of old women well you know what then it won't be fun for you so don't come that's how I look at it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I you know, just uh, come on out. Come on out. We're looking forward to it. And, and uh, we're really excited about this. And uh, we're really looking forward to meeting you. And just um, please just go on the chat and just say, hey, Barbara. And uh, I will start communicating with you. All righty. And if there's anyone that knows how to go in that chat and start a separate whatever it's called, like activities with Barbara chat or something like that, feel free because we don't have a clue what we're doing, I'll tell you right now. But um you have anything else? I think I think that's part of the the the, the problem here is that both of us are are really um amateurs. <laughs> So some of the stuff that that uh, people suggest that we do, we don't know how to do. So please be patient with us. Or and... teach us how. <laughs> One or the other. Either be patient with us or teach us how. Because it's rough. It's rough not, not growing up with the internet when we were younger. But we're getting there. So that's all that matters. Now we're making a lot of mistakes too. And that's just something to look back on and laugh. So I think we're done. So looking what forward to looking forward to Thanksgiving and spending it with you ladies and just having fun. Um, bring your positive attitude, bring your smiles, and come and just uh, just just uh, check all the worldly issues and problems at the gate, and let's just come and be and enjoy each other and have a fabulous time. All righty, I'm gonna try to get back on here before the meetup to let you guys, you know, kind of keep it, keep abreast of things. I'm not going to say which day or which time, because I don't know where I'm going to be, because I'm fixing to take a little trip um, next week with one of my grandchildren for a few days. So, but I am going to try to get back on here before the meetup, uh, closer to the time of the meetup to kind of give us a heads up of, you know, how things are going. And also this was said in the first video, which I, I do hope if you haven't watched it, you go back and watch it um, because it's in Florida because it is part of the national forest if there's any kind of a storm tropical depression whatever um the uh powers that be will and have before closed the forest camping and if they do that's okay because it's not going to blow it away or drown it's just going to like cause a little bit of discomfort for some people uh if it does get closed we will postpone it to another time so we don't need to worry about that either that being said, I'm going to go enjoy this Florida weather with my friend Barbara. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.